I felt like very lazy today and I'm like, I want to do Advance Wars content, so let's do a tier list. And here, I got inspired by Go's 7 most recent tier list, his hype tier list, I will leave the, disc the, um, the uh, video link in the description below if you are curious to see it. Now, my list is different. It's based on my experience in Global League, and even if I'm not really good, I played a lot of Global League, um, and yeah, I'm very experienced in terms of like matchup and seeing people using seals. So I decided, let's do a tier list about like the most used seals. So if you end up like in F tier, either you're like trash and nobody picks you, or you are banned. And here we are speaking about Fog of War. So in Fog of War, if you take a look to my list, you may realize it's kinda true at some extent. Now everyone experience is different, so of course some people will disagree with me. So this is my experience as someone that stood between 800 to like 1000 ILO. Uh, 1000 was my highest reach. And uh, the, the past month and a half, I really struggled in Global League because I ate the rotation. The rotation is just awful and yeah, maps man, the maps, I, I just cannot stand them. Now, with that being said, let's speak about the tiers. We got the tier 0 crowd and the lucky crowd all banned. So the only guy that is truly in F tier is like Grim. Because nobody plays him and when someone picks him, like, give some respect, brah. I mean, take some balls. And I remember a guy that was named Gring Shard something. I fought him many times. And he was a Grim main. And it's it's kinda sad because he earned my respect by using Grim, but he is spamming stealth, so the moment I see a stealth on the board, I'm like, you lost all respect I had for you. Regardless. Let's move on to E tier, Echo tier. Now, in E tier, we got Rachel. She is very underappreciated and underrated. You know why? She's not broken. She's just a really good seal. And this is funny because I placed her there because there's only one map where she's very popular, and I won't deny it. It's struggling grinding. Uh, it's a light-based map, and they actually took out the map uh, in this current rotation. But the map was on the rotation for like many months, and that's the only map where you will see Racho. Now, there, there's like another map, like Zafaya Original, another trash map in rotation. But even there, Rachel is kinda low priority for pretty much everyone. Uh, there's also another map, Birds on Wire. Uh, Rachel is kinda used sometimes. But even there, she is less popular than most seals uh, in higher tier. Uh, and I think it's because she's not broken. She requires skills. Her day-to-day -day is gain three repair instead of two. And that's it. And then she get a trash power that should never be used. Except maybe against Andy, but that's like the only seal. Like, you will be like, oh, let, let's use that uh, trash power. Uh, so she got a, a really good super but it's easy to control uh, so yeah that's why she's there now we got 
Lash? You know why people are afraid of Lash? It's because Kindle is in the same tier, you know? Most of the time, I see Lash players, I will be honest, they are really bad. Uh, sometimes they surprise me, and sometimes they 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 win because Lash is a good seal, and not because they are good players, it's just because Lash is a good seal. And this is kind of sad, I will be honest, this is kind of sad. Uh, but here again, um, Lash, very underrated, underused, because Drake, Kendall, Andy, these three are just much more popular. And I cannot blame anybody, I mean, they, they are good. Now, the next one. Cool! Let's be honest. I don't remember the last time I fought a Cole player in Global League. I'm really honest here. I just don't remember the last time I fought one. I remember I, I, I fought one like in casual games here and there. But in Global League, like everyone stay away from Cole. And it's kinda sad. I understand Jake is just much better. Adder is better. Jess is better. So they're basically all better than Cole. <laughs> Uh, Cole, the, the only, like, time you will say, oh, Cole is better than someone, it's when it comes to Grim, because Grim is just trash. Uh, so, yeah, Cole, uh, underused seal a lot. Now, coming in, uh, D rank, we got Javier. You know why nobody touched him, because it's really easy to, uh, deny is day to day and it's kind of sad and the other reason he is in the same tier as Auk and we all know how people like so much double damage they see Auk they 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 they, they splash white liquids all over the place uh, the other pick people tend to use a lot is term and Sturm should not be part of Global League. No. Even in Fog of War. He doesn't belong there. The only time around I'm like. It's fine to have Sturm is iPhones. Because in iPhones Sturm becomes really bad. Let's be honest. He becomes really bad. Because most iPhones map are big. And it's iPhones. So you just decide to make like a mega tank here. You don't lose that much because it's iPhone and boom, he wasted Meteor Strike. So I think in Fog of War he is broken. Uh, don't let him in. It's just like the stealth. Next one on the list. Sonja. Now this is funny because when I started playing Advanced Wars by web before I went into Global League, I did a lot of casual. I, I played a lot of casual. Uh, I played like 900 casual or so before like even going into Global League and stuff. And people tend to pick Sanja a lot in casual. But when it comes to Global League, nobody picks her. She is more popular than Lash and Racho. I can understand that to some extent, her day-to-day -day is kinda easy to use, but her, her power and her super are not really great. That's why she is tier 3. I mean, counter break is kinda cool, but I like Enchant's vision. And I know people will be enraged and insulted, they're like, why Enchant's vision? I don't care about woods, I see further. You know, it's Sonja. Let's be honest. Counter Break is really good. I will never trash Counter Break. But it's five stars. What if I, I really want to go into wood? Or what if I, I know there's something in one of the woods? And I really want to smash that unit? And Chance Vision. That's it. Um, 
Now, as I said, I don't want to trash Counter Break. I know Counter Break is really strong. It's kind of ridiculous, but hey, I like Inchant's Vision as well. Now, in C tier, we got Adder. You know why? He's in the same tier as Jake. <laughs> That's why. Adder is kind of cool, but he has no day today, so people are like, yeah, all he can do is like spam power. That's it. Okay, you're right. He doesn't do much. Next one is Jess. I think she is more popular than Adder because she is just more fun than Adder. But here again, that's just my opinion. And that's my experience. She is kind of popular and people tend to pick Jess more often than Adder. Coming in B tier, we got Max, that trash CEO I want to stay away from. Uh, man. Max. I don't get it, the appeal, I, I just don't get, get it. Like, out of tier 2, he is the less popular, and I think he's the most boring CO in the entire game. I'd rather play as Grim than Max. Max is just not fun, because he has only way to play. One way, one way to play. Max, smash. Tank, battlecopter. Tank, battlecopter. Oh, he sees a fighter, fighter, <laughs> or he sees a fighter, anti-air. Where are the Anderect? They are part of this game, right? Try buying one for fun, just, just waste your money into a max artery, I will laugh at you. And if that artery pay itself back, you deserve to win, bro. You deserve to win. I, I just don't see the appeal, but I... Look, he's here too, and people think he belongs there. I don't think so, but that's just me. Eagle! A much more fun seal than uh, Max. And it's funny because there's a lot of people, they they think because Eagle has one of the best super in the game, is easy to use, and when you do the replay commentary, you're like, why did he pick Eagle? He doesn't use Lightning Strike properly. It's awful to see. My eyes are bleeding. The game is is awful. But hey, people do that, right? Uh, I guess it's because I'm in lower ILO, and when you go in higher ILO, people are actually good with Eagle, and they're kind of scary sometimes. I I fought higher ILO like DPSI once. Oh my DPSI. Shout out to you, man. Your video in my, uh, your channel in my description below. Just because shout out to you. Um, we need to do more stuff together if you want in the future. Um, I think he was like the only Iyer Ilo player I fought that used Eagle, I think. Next pick, Sasha. Now, she is more popular than Javier, for sure. But here's the thing. She is harder to use and she's weaker than her, her uh, fellow uh, tier 1. I think the most fair fight we can have is Sasha versus Garit. It's very fair and square, as we call it. But yeah, Sasha is not that popular, and she is my waifu. If you know me, like, I want to main her. She is such an amazing seal. She's fun. I enjoy my time with that seal. I, I just like it a lot. And that's funny because she got one of the worst mirror match ever. It's godly awful. I don't like mirror match overall, but... She takes it to a whole other level with her kind of mirror match. Now, coming in A tier, Andy! I get the appeal, you don't like global damage, and you don't want to use global damage, so you just go Andy. 
And that's kinda cool, I respect that. He has no day to day, he heals his troops. That's the boy from the first Advance Wars game. The boy that doesn't know what's in the airport. That meme is dead. Now, next one is Sammy. Oh my, I am so fed up to see all these Sammy trash player out there that rely on Victory March. I will always say that. Double time exists. Use it. If you are losing and you use Victory March, your only way to win and come back in the race is to actually HQ cap your opponent. So this is a cheese you can do and let's be honest, if you win like that, it doesn't mean you're a good semi or a good player, you just use Victory March. Please don't use semi if you don't care about double time. Pick another seal. It's a strategy game. And you're not using strategy if you rely on cheese to win. Next one, grit. And this is very funny because in my ILO, most grit players are trash. But yeah, sometimes they will still win because grit is ridiculous in tier 2 sometimes. And. Yeah, he is quite an hard CO to play, I will be honest. In my ILO, 99% of the grid players are trash. But yet, they still want to pick him. And I laugh so hard when it's light base. I am like, are you kidding me? Don't you see how trash grid is in light base? Well, that's your thing, right? Um, don't pick grid in light base, please. Um, yeah. If you use super snipe instead of snipe attack, I am asking you lots of questions, you know. Next one. Ex Makina, the old man in the wheelchair that doesn't fit or is kind of boring, let's be honest. So Von Bolt is very easy to use and in smaller maps he is the only pick which is kind of sad because you end up with a lot of mirror match and you're like, why? I don't like mirror match. Why? I don't want to play Days of Room. No, 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 I don't. Next spot, the favorite of tier 4, Jake. You don't need any brain cell to play well with that seal. Move on plane, spam tanks and copters. And sometimes a splash one artillery or two because he can actually use artillery well, so yeah. Brain dead seal. Easy to use, people pick it and there we are. Next seal, Kindle. Another brain dead seal. Urban blight, urban blight, urban blight. If you owe for your eye society, you earn my respect because this super is trash. Good day today, good power. That's it, enough said. Uh, the next three, they all have the same respawn. Global damage is dumb. Global damage makes no sense. Global damage breaks the game. Now, let's do something special, right? Let's ban. Just for one rotation, let's ban all three global damage seal. And let's open all three lock base seal. I want to see people do nail versus term. I want to see this crap. Hell yeah. Please do that. Admin, if you see this video, next rotation, 
ban all global damage seal and open flak jogger and nail like you can place like nail tier one or two i don't care where she's placed as long as nail is there you almost turn there right do the same with nail now with the global damage people look I judge you. You are lazy. You want easy win. I say that it's funny because one of my uh, accounts has a lot of Olaf games. So I'm guilty of that as well. And I am also guilty of that because I played a lot of Drake. But I will be honest, Ark is one of the CO I played the less. I think it's the CO I played the less in Global League with Grit. Grit, Auk, and Max. They are like the three CEOs I barely play. For different reason, of course. The last CEO, the guy that should not be part of Global League. No. Uh, especially in Fog. Sturm. We all know how broken he is, and I'm still wondering why he is not banned. But hey, this is my tier list. What do you think about that? How popular the seals are for you? Well, leave a comment. I'm curious to see if I'm right about that. I think I am because I play like... Roughly a thousand... More than a thousand actually. I probably uh, played 1.5k. I'm not quite sure how many games I played. I should do like a video to count all the Global League game I, I did. Because I'm lazy. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe for more Advanced Wars content. This channel is where I do my streams when I got time and when I'm not lazy. Have a great day.